according to the book of Genesis chapter number 4 and verse number 11 the scripture is saying about the cane that God curts the cane so that the ground cannot give the crop to the cane as the as the scripture says of verse number 12 when you work the ground it will no longer yield its crops for you you will be a restless wanderer on the earth this is a curse this is a punishment that God has given to the king but today I'm giving the great revelation regarding the curse of a God and curse from a God so when God curse someone the intensity of the power which is hidden in the curse is greater than the intensity of the power which is hidden in the blessing of God so when God curse someone those people are more effective than the people who are blessed from God here in the scripture when we see the example of the king as he uh, as he murdered his, his, uh, his, his brother but God has cursed the king not, not to eat anything not to eat any food from the ground but here the story goes according to the scripture when God has cursed the king Cain, Cain went out of the presence of the Lord and Cain went out of the presence of the Lord and entered into the new city and also he was blessed with a, with a good wife and according to the verse number 17 there is a scripture says Cain made love to his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch Cain was then building a city and he named it after his son Enoch so this is the this is actually not a blessing this is the effective power which is hidden in the curse so God has cursed but the Cain have received the same power from God with the mercy of the God to, to use the intensity power which is hidden in the curse so God has cursed the Cain but Cain used the intensity power which is hidden in the guts because of that reason God never cursed a Satan because of this reason whatsoever the Satan uses the things like Satan uses the serpent to deceive the Adam and if Satan uses the different animals to deceive the people so whatsoever Satan uses those are the things that were cursed by God but God is not ever trying to curse the Satan because Satan knows if God curses Satan Satan uses the power which is hidden in the curse so when God cursed the intensity of the voice the power the effective power which God is releasing his voice in the form of curse is very effective it's very majestic and powerful when God blesses someone he blesses silently he blesses with a sweet voice but when God curses someone he, he, he wrote a, he wrote a voice like a lion that's the voice with a great power will be transformed into the people's life so this is what the reason Jesus was cursed so Jesus was cursed for you to be blessed we don't have a faith and we don't have a knowledge how to use the power which is hidden in the curse we have only a belief system how to use the blessing of the silent God and the blessing of the sweetest God so when God cursed here the Kion, when the God cursed the king, so uh, he is requesting God to do something according to the verse number 15 uh, yeah verse number 13 Cain said to the Lord my punishment is more than I can bear today you are driving me from the land and I will hidden from your presence I will be a restless wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me they will kill me so Cain was still talking to God even though he's cursed how can a man speaking to God already he was cursed he cannot have the ability to hear the voice of God but he is doing the conversation with Almighty God now he was cursed so everyone who is cursed and everyone was cursed we are believing that they lose the voice of God no they still have the voice of God God's and blessing cannot make someone to hear the voice of God someone the mercy of God can make someone to hear the voice of God this is the truth 
in the same way here the, there is a conversation between the Cain and God in the verse number 15 but the Lord said to him here it goes again another story so God cursed to Cain in the verse number level to uh, 13 but when we come to the verse number 15 but the Lord said to him not so anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over I hope the person who is going to kill Cain is going to uh, receive more effective power more than Cain so God has cursed God wants to cut some another one who is going to kill the, the person called Cain. So this is another form of a curse. Nothing but God is showing the mercy upon the Cain to be perceived, to be, to be preserved in the protection of the living God. So God has not cursed sin. Uh, God has cursed firstly, but secondly, God is showing the mercy on the Cain. So when, when Cain received the curse, first one when uh, again second time when the cane is receiving the mercy of the lord in the progress in the process of mercy of god he also received the power and so he has received the anointing to use the power effective power which is hidden in the guts so most of the witch doctors are using these kind of things which is hidden in the cuts. You people are so much of fear of what you have a cuts. There is a generational cuts. There is a different form of cuts. Someone is cursed to you. You people are feared. But if you have a knowledge how to use the power which is hidden in the cuts, then you can show that power for the glory of the living God. So we need, we are just we are just lacking the knowledge because of the lack of knowledge we can be perished. This is what the Holy Spirit is saying in the scriptures. So Jesus, when we come into the New Testament, so there, is, there, was, a call, there was a man called Jesus. So Jesus was cursed. Jesus was cursed, but he is more glorified. All the people, all the people who became as a sinners, all the curses at one point, that curses is released on Jesus and the Jesus was cursed. Jesus was cursed. We are worshipping a man who was cursed. How can we worship the Jesus who was cursed? Of course, he is the Lord for us. He is, is, his progress, his assignment has to be cursed. Of course. But we are worshipping the man who was cursed. There is an effective power. So brother, when God blesses you, God is blessing you silently with a sweet voice. At the same God, when he is dangerously cursing you, then the power which is hidden in the curse is very effective that can work in different dimension in your life. So most of the people doesn't know how to use that power, how to use the curses for us to be blessed. This is what the reason God never cursed a Satan. God never cursed a Satan. Satan knows the information, how to use the power which is hidden, which is hidden in the curse. That's the reason whatsoever, whatsoever Satan uses something, whatsoever Satan uses something, God will curse. The, use, the God will curse what Satan is using. So this is what is happening in the body of Christ and also in the world. It was happening still. So we are asking for God for God for us to be blessed. We are asking God to release his blessing. Of course it's good because we are seeing the gods in one side. We are not able to, we are not able to see gods at another side, but both sides looking as same as God. So when God when, when we can see God as a positive side, like he is releasing the blessing, he is also God. Again when we are able to see in a negative way he is a God, he is cursing someone. He is also a God. So both directions make us to make, have to understand that the two both sides are equilibrium and also positioned by the God Almighty brother. So you need to understand that whatsoever someone is blessing, whatsoever someone is cursed, both are directed and both are standard to the God Almighty. 
So this is the reason the Kai, that Cain was blessed even too. Because actually the truth is Cain was not blessed. But Cain was received the anointing to use the power which is hidden in the curse. Because of that reason, he is looking like a great person. In the verse number, in the verse number 17, he constructed a city. How can a cursed man construct a city? He given birth to the children. It's good. With a good family. And the whole city named as a Hinoch. Who is the person called Hinoch? The, the, the son of the, the son of the Cain. So he built a construction. He built a city, not a house. I want everyone to understand. He built not a house. He built a city. How a man, how a cursed man build a city simple by the mercy of the lord he have the power and ability to use the powers to use the effective power which is hidden in the curts you people are seeing the curts but there is power inside of the curts that power belongs to god even curts belongs to god god is a god of holiness god is god of power whatsoever when God releases something, everything is pure, even though it is curse. So when God releases a word in the form of curse, in the form of blessing, every word is a pure. Every word affects the power. Every word carries the purity. That's what the God is releasing something on Cain. So you people are not understanding what, or you people are believing that I am cursed. My life is going with a curse. My, my, my life is ruined with a curse. My life is completely damaged because of the curse. Someone cursed me. My generational curses are broken my heart. These are the things you are believing. But if you have a knowledge how to use the power which is hidden in the curse, you can have a stylish uh, life in the Christ of Jesus Christ. This is what God is proclaiming the great war of the scriptures for you to be blessed today in the name of Jesus so brother sister so Jesus was cursed we are worshiping the man who was cursed already how can you how can you worship the Lord that Lord was cursed by God the Lord was not blessed brother in the cross of Calvary the Lord was not blessed the Lord was cursed you are worshiping the Lord who is on the cross that Lord was cursed According to the scripture, the Lord became a sin because of the mankind. The Lord became a curse because for us to be blessed. Because the man doesn't know how to use the power of a curse. How to transfer that curse into the glory. How to transfer that curse into the uh, uh, strategy of Jesus. We are crying for our curses. But if you have the reality of the power, you can change everything to the glory of God. You can change the curse into the greatness of God. I'm not saying you have to change curse into the blessing. No, I'm saying you have to change the curse into the intensity of the glory of the living God. Every man, every man's tongue have the power. If someone curses you, don't worry about it. You need to know the power which is hidden in the curse. Enjoy the power, remove the curse. So when someone curses you, enjoy the power in the curse and remove the curse. Enjoy the power and remove the curse. Enjoy the power, remove the curse. Of course, it is the negative power. It is the negative power. Let me give you the truth. Whatsoever the Satan have the power that belongs to God. But Satan uses the power in a wrong way. That's what we call as it is a satanic power. So every power which is on the earth is belongs to God. Even though it is the satanic power, it belongs to God. But Satan uses that God's power for his glory, for the Satan's glory. That's what we are calling that power is the satanic power. Witchcraft power is the witch's power. Because witch doctors are using that power for their glory and also for the people to be destroyed. Because of that reason, they are called as satanic agents. So today, you need to use the power. Every power is belonging to God. Every power. There is no power of Satan unless you use the power of God for the Satan. So please, brother, so there is a power.
power all over the world every powers and every kind of authority according to the according to the scriptures the scripture is saying that every kind of powers on the earth on the sky every power belonging to the name of Jesus so there is no power that can be connected to the demons until and unless you can use the power for the satan so this is what the God is saying the power which is hidden in the cuts because of that reason brother when God cursed Cain Cain life was changed let me say a great mystery before Cain cursed he was doing the hard work but when Cain was cursed he is, he is moved to the another another place to build a construction called a city a city of Enoch before he was cursed he, he was doing hard work doing some kind of uh, a farmer some kind of agriculture on the on the hot sun by releasing a sweat but when he was cursed he gone into the another place and begin to marry a woman and bury children with a good family and constructed a city called the Enoch what is that kind of blessing brother this is not the blessing this is the power which is hidden in the cuts so the king was uh, anointed to use the power which is called as a negative for the glory of God again he was restored he was connected to God when he was died he entered into the heavens no one can judge Cain was entered into the hell no Cain even though Cain was cursed Cain uses that curse for the glory of the living God afterwards this is what God changes the heart of a Cain so brother you people are thinking that Cain was cursed person so that this uh, we don't we don't need to be like that no 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 all these things are happening because of for the sake of changes that has to be applicable in the man's kingdom so God cursed someone for that person to be changed these are all the principle these are all the strategies of a life of God which is even in you so brother this is what you need to understand which is belonging to God the power the anointing the glory you are only believing the positiveness is only belonging to God but even though it is also a negative things called as the darkness power called as the power of the curse called as the effective nations of the demons every power belonging to the heavenly God so by this sermon whatsoever there are a curses upon you I don't need to remove the curses from you but today as a prophet I declare in the name of Jesus I am anointing you to use the power which is hidden in the curse for the glory of the living God if you don't know how to use the power in the curse the curse will take over you the curse will overwhelm you the curse will dominate you don't allow the curse to dominate you there is a choice there is an opportunity that curse was giving to you if i am a curse i'm giving the opportunity to you to use my power for me to be changed for the glory of the living god so this is the god's mercy this is the god's power this is the god's love god is speaking to a curse to kaya curse to Cain. so before he was cursed he is talking to the God after he was cursed he is talking to God curse cannot make the king not to uh, skip the voice of God he is continued with the voice of God God cursed Adam God cursed Eve we are believing that when God cursed Adam Adam were cursed Adam were going to die there are something happens in the realms of course but everything shall under the influence of the will of the living God every curses at one point that curses us released on Jesus Christ of Nazareth that curse is more powerful than any other curses in the world which is on Jesus you people are believing that when God cursed Adam, that curse is very powerful. No, the curse which is upon Jesus is more powerful than any other curses in the world. This is what God is speaking to you.
in the name of Christ the Lord Jesus don't be fear for what you have curse and also don't go to the God and saying father remove my curses no, 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 no. Just you have to ask the knowledge from God how to use the effectiveness of the power, the intensity of the power which is hidden in that curse. Because the curse is in the form of voice. God never curse with his actions. God curse with his mouth. There is a voice. We are hearing the voice of God. Sometimes you people are deserving the voice of God. Sometimes that voice is in the form of curse. The curse is in the form of voice. How can a voice of God damage you? How can a voice of God destroy, destroy you even though it is a curse? So you need to understand the greatness of God. You need to have a knowledge to change the dimension of a curse into the greatness and the glory of God. According to the Acts of the 10 verse number 39, there is a scripture that was calling that Jesus was anointed with the power and with the spirit. And also there is another scripture that that's not my anointed. If you are against your anointed one, then the anointing doesn't have any feeling, any emotions. Anointing is not the voice of God to show the mercy on you, even though sometimes girls will show mercy on you. But the anointing never. That's what's the reason. According to the book of Matthew, if someone is against the anointed ones, there is no forgiveness in the coming generations. And generations and generations. There is no forgiveness for them. So, in the, in the New Testament, Jesus was anointed, of course. But when someone is talking and when someone is doing something against the anointing, that anointing will do something more than curse. Nothing but the side effect, the negative effectness of the God will show more upon you when you do something against the anointing of God. So the anointing is very dangerous. You are praying for the anointing, of course, good. It's good for you to be anointed. But also you need, you need to be very merciful and lovable. Because when someone is against you, those are going to be destroyed by the anointing. Anointing doesn't have any kind of emotions and effects and different kind of feelings. Never. The anointing doesn't have any kind of emotions. Simply it behaves as you behave. The anointing is releasing something of what you released. If you throw a bow, it bounces back to you in the same way when you release a word on the man of God who was anointed, the anointing will locate you easily, positively and negatively, on the basis of your word, on the basis of your action. So please behave like a good disciple before you are anointed once. And be a protocol, be in a good manner before you are anointed ones. Don't do filthy things and don't do the things against the anointed man of God. It is very, very, very hard. So the scriptures say there is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness. If you do something against the anointing, there is no forgiveness. Even there is a forgiveness if someone was cursed. But, but there is no forgiveness if someone is gone against the anointing. The, the, but, but because of that reason, God said, touch not my anointed ones. If you touch my anointed ones, you are touching my eyelid. You are touching directly my eyelid. When you touch the anointed one, you are touching the eye of God. According to the scripture of Haggai. This is what God is speaking to you in the name of Jesus. You need to be more favor to the people who are anointed. If you are against the anointed, better to go out from that presence. So, so you people have to be wise. When you want to do something against the anointed one, better to go from out that place because it, it, it makes you to be favor. So please, so when you are doing something against the anointing it is more danger for your life to be destroyed not to be blessed so please be aware when someone was cursed he can come back again into god but when someone was destroyed because of the anointing he never come back into the life of god it's a very dangerous it's a very dangerous he cannot be forgiven 
that has, you have to experience what the reason came from the anointing. So please shut up your mouth if you don't know about the anointing. Please keep quiet before the anointed ones if you don't know something. Don't, don't negotiate with them. They are superior from gods. They are behave like a superior gods. They are the Elohims. They are the fullness of a man. They are the fullness of the spirit of the enclave ministers of the super, supreme God. So these are the things what you need to understand also. Learn in order for you to do well. This is one of the greatest mystery in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. So today, you people is opening your eyes to get transformed and also every curse which is upon you shall be used for the glory of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release that much of the power into your spirit by the grace and by the effective nation of the kingdom of the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and I release that much of the power into your life in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you.